Hey, it's Chris Powell, Arm Realty, and we're still down here in Madison today. So now we are at 869 East 400 North, Madison, Indiana. Again, that was 869 nor East nor 400 North. Love these county roads, they get me every time. So this is a four bedroom, two bath, um, 1,776 square feet home. It's currently on the market for $234,900. Again, that was $234,900. Let the car go by there. Um, and we're just, it's just kind of like on a country road outside of Madison, Indiana. Nice and quiet out here. So uh, we'll flip the camera around and take a look. So it's a nice neighborhood or nice, nice road in Madison. Um, not a not a lot of traffic so here's the house outside of the house uh, this section right here you'll see when we get inside that was a garage at one point in time that they've turned into uh, another room comes around here to the backyard so I guess if one wanted to they could probably put a lean-to or something on this side um, or just a whole another garage if you really needed a garage so we'll go in here. It's got a nice front porch, um, concrete porch here, nice and deep. Put you a little swing down there, perfect. Um, go ahead and point this out before I forget about it. So the windows are, are I don't want to call them original, but they're older. Um, the house was built in 1963. Um, and the windows are definitely older. So I don't know if they're original, but they could probably use an upgrade at some point in time because they are single pane. The rest of the house has, uh, I mean, oh wow, look at that. I mean, that's, that's, that's actually got a piece of plexiglass they stuck in there. Anyway, so the windows are gonna need upgraded. Um, the rest of the windows do seem to have, I think they have, at least a few of the windows have storm windows. Yeah, they do. So th they have storm windows, but that will really only get you so far. Here is the garage. Um, the extra room that's in the garage. Let's see if they have it here listed as a room size. But it's basically the size of a one car garage. Um, if one wanted to, you could wall this off and make this a separate area. Um, so you could make it a man cave or possibly another bedroom or whatever you wanted to do with it. Um, or make it more of a TV room. Um, but it's a good size room. Um, so we got a closet over here. We got the electric panel in there. Take a look at the electrical panel here. So, 200 amp service with uh, some room to spare still. Uh, there's the scuttle for the, the attic. Um, gonna have to be a skinny guy to get up in there. Got this little built-in area here, which is nice sitting here. Overlooking the farm. So it's just a large farm and the, the property butts up against a, a large farm. So it's really nice. Got a, Pantry here, nice size pantry. And then right off next to that, we have the washer and dryer hookup with a shelf. Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator, Whirlpool oven. The oven, can't tell if this is new or, but it's, it's definitely very clean. So, but Whirlpool, and we got a, Eco Touch, never heard of it. Range, a Whirlpool dishwasher. And that's the kitchen. So the kitchen's, it's not huge, but it's definitely usable space here. So, okay. So we'll walk down the hallway here, right in the, right off the chute. There is a, you got a, 
another closet. So if you didn't have all these shelves in there, you could make that the coat closet for one guest to come over if you put the coat somewhere. So this is the first bedroom. This bedroom is not huge by no means. This is the smaller of the three or the four bedrooms. Um, it does have a good size closet though. Um, head down the hall here we got the bathroom first the, the main bathroom to the right so pretty standard bathroom a little bit larger than the your standard five by eight but it's a good size bathroom new vanity and new toilet it's been up there all this has gone through this is a linoleum floor it's not tile but uh there's the tub so then we come down the hallway again you got the next bath bedroom now this this bedroom is a probably about the same size as the other one and this one does have it doesn't have this the bifold doors but it does have a nice deep closet most of the closets have lights on them too that's nice but this is again not it's not overly huge but it's decent size i guess so we'll walk over here this one's a little bit bigger same closet size so and again, all the closets, I think all the closets have lights in them. Carpet's brand new. This is, the house is a flip, so everything in here is pretty much brand new. Here we have water softener and hot water heater. <clears throat> now this is the master. And now from this doorway, this way is an addition. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, got a nice walk-in closet here that goes through, passes through to the, uh, um, the bathroom. Nice. There's a scuttle for the attic, which is a little bit bigger than the other one. So that's a good thing. We'll walk around this way to the actual entrance to the master bathroom. So here's your bathroom. You got a stand-up shower. So the master does not have a tub. It just has a stand-up shower. Then there's a linen closet. Then there's these double vanities. Oh, we gotta get that handsome real estate agent in there. Couldn't have it. Couldn't have a video without that guy. So there's these. I don't know what this is all about, but you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll hear me say it a lot. You don't need a license to buy stuff at Lowe's. So I don't know what they were thinking with these double vanities, but you know, that's that would have to go. Uh, we have another another linen closet. And then you've got the water closet over here, all by its lonesome. And then there's a way back into that closet again. So we'll go ahead and walk through. This is walking through the closet again into the master bedroom. The master bedroom is, it's big. It is a big room. So um, then there's another closet over here. So if your wife is anything like my wife, it's good to know you have hers and hers closets. So, you know how that works. The guys out there, you know what I'm talking about. So, hers and hers closets. Okay, so that's pretty much the extent of it. We'll stick our head out the backyard. and uh, Or stick our head out the back door to check out the backyard. But that's, uh, that's pretty much the extent of everything there. Got a nice deck. At one point in time, evidently, it probably had a pool. So that would explain this ra raised section of the deck here. So we got a concrete pad down here to set your table on. There's some missing siding and stuff here that would need some attention. The yard is completely fenced in. We got a little utility shed there. Walk over there and check out that.
Oh gosh, I got it full of junk. So here's the utility shed. It's currently just full of crock crap. It looks like they just threw in here. But it's uh you know, 12 by 10 utility shed. Nice place to put the mower and everything. So all fenced in like I said you got out the very back I mean you got neighbors to the left and right of you but uh, back here it's just country farmland so country farmland little picture of the back of the house the roof roof's been replaced it's newer not sure exactly how old but it's a dimensional three tab so couldn't be that old This is Chris Powell um, with Arm Realty. And again, we're down here in Madison. If you have any questions about this house or any house on the market, just let us know. You can call my cell phone at 812-290-1403. Again, that was 812-290-1403. Or check us out online at Aurum Realty, A-U-R-U-M Realty.com. Thanks. Have a great day.